The Kalawai people of West Papua are one of the most isolated tribes of the world. Oh, God. Look at this shit. Disgusting female nipples. How offensive. There could be little kids watching. They could be exposed to nipples for the first time in their lives. <laughs> she does have a pretty good set on her, though. Wouldn't mind motorboating those puppies. Hey, what do you think, honey? Uh, they're nice. <laughs> yeah. Shame you haven't got big ones like that. <laughs> That's okay. I forgive you. You know, just for you, I'll think of her rack next time we bang. That way we both win. Hey, look at this guy. He's got a pretty good body, right? I don't know. Oh, come on. You can tell me. I just told you I wanted to suck the milk out of the other lady's tits. I don't know, Carl. Come on, baby. You can tell me. Don't be shy. Do you think he's got a nice body? Come on, just tell me. Do you think he's got a nice body? It's a simple question. Uh, he, he looks like that he uh, takes care of himself. Yeah, he does. What do you mean he takes care of himself? What? Well, you said he looks like he takes care of himself, so I just want to know what you meant by that. Nothing. I just said that he, uh, he, he looks like that he may take care of himself. Yeah, but how? What, what would make you say that? How does he look like he takes care of himself? Hey, you're scaring me. Well, don't be scared. I'm just curious is all. I just want to know what you meant. How does he look like he takes care of himself? Does he have a nice physique? What did you mean? You know what I meant. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't know what you meant. So, how does he look like he takes care of himself? He just does. How, though? How? Uh, he probably uh, eats well and works out a lot. I'm not asking for his goddamn fitness regime. I want to know what about him physically makes him look like he takes care of himself. I don't know. Yes, you do. Is it his muscles? Baby, I don't want to get into this. Do you like his muscles? No. Why not? He's got nice muscles. I don't know. How could you sit there and say you don't like his muscles? I like his muscles. You must be crazy not to like his muscles. Are you crazy? No. So do you like his muscles? Well, I, I don't know if I, uh, if I like them. But you can at least appreciate that they're nice. Can you not? They're okay, I guess. So he's got a nice body, right? Well, objectively speaking, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. So it wasn't so hard, was it? Do you want to bang him? What? You want to bang him, don't you? I bet you're sitting there fantasizing about him right now, you little slut! I'm not! Admit it! Carl, stop! You whore! You want to have ten guys have their way with you at once, you want me to sit in the corner and watch? No! No, baby! Baby! I love you and only you! You liar! Hello. Pedro. What the hell are you doing here, man? Carl. Samantha. I just came to borrow some sugar. It's really not a good time, Pedro. Oh, am I interrupting something here, Carl? Yeah, I mean, you kind of are. So, if you don't mind leaving. What's going on here, Carl? It's not your goddamn business. Have you been violent towards your lovely lady? <laughs> Look, I said it's not your goddamn business, all right? So just leave if you know what's good for you. Leafy greens are good for me. But I ain't leaving. Huh? Why do you pick on someone your own size? I don't want any trouble, Pedro. 
Oh, you can hit a woman, but you can't hit a man? Why don't you fight me, little worm? See what a big man you are. I don't really want to. You don't want to? I apologize. All right, I'm really sorry, Pedro. Not to me, idiot. Her. I'm sorry. Oh, no. That's not good enough. Get on your knees. What? Did I stutter? Now! Samantha, stand up, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Carl. You're gonna beg for her forgiveness. You freaking serious? Alright, uh... I'm sorry. For what? For... Yelling at you and... Treating you like crap and... Hitting you. Thank you. I, um, I appreciate that. Hey, did I say you could stand up? It's one thing to apologize, but does that make it right? Where's Samantha's justice? What are you going to do to me? Me? Nothing if you never touch her again. But Samantha will. What? Samantha is going to hit you. Like hell she is! Shut your damn face! Samantha, hit him. Can't. Samantha, how many times did he hit you? How many times he wanted to fight back but couldn't because there's no one there to protect you? Now this is your chance. So you're going to hit him. And after this, no one hits each other ever again. Understand? Understand? Now hit him. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. That really hurts! Shut up! I feel good. Now yeah, punch him. What? I said punch him. Yeah, I don't know. Think of all the times he abused you and hurt you and punched you. Think of all the times he made you feel this small and like nothing. Show him that you're strong. Now yeah, punch him. God damn it, I'm sorry! <laughs> Please. Okay. Good. Good job. Stand up. Maybe he's learned his lesson. Now, you never lend a hand on her ever again. Do you understand? Samantha, where's the sugar? In the kitchen, next to the fridge. You're freaking dead. Do you understand me? Thanks for the sugar, guys. Hope you have a splendid day and love each other. Farewell. I'm so sorry I hit you. I, I had no choice. You had no choice? You had no choice? <laughs> you can't hurt me, little girl. I'm strong and you're weak. Warned you, didn't I, rhinoceros boy? <coughs> Bulldog. <coughs> Thank you, Pedro. No problem. Is there any way I can repay you? Your safety is the only prize I need. Here. Take care. Be safe.